Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. I'm doing okay. How are you today? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Very hello, boring. teacher. Okay. Hello, hello. How was good your day? Good evening, teacher. Okay. How was your day today? Fine, thanks. Thank you. Okay, I had a good day. I went to San Salvador um, in the afternoon, early in the afternoon. And uh, it took me like three hours from Lourdes to San Salvador and then coming back. So it was good. So, okay, so today is July 7th, 2020. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a nice day today. And let's begin. Let's begin with the topics we covered yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Yeah. Yes, teacher, it was cool. Okay, can you refresh my memory? Okay, we saw the non, uh, non counts nouns and uh -huh. con and counts nouns very good non countable okay. and countable very good okay can you mention examples of non countables okay for example uh, the sugar sugar the sugar. traffic Traffic, uh -huh. pollution. traffic, parking, pollution, parking, mm -hmm. good. Water, sand. water, sand, oxygen, oxygen, yes, oxygen. Uh huh, very good. So all the examples you're mentioning now are really good. Oxygen, water, sand, pollution, traffic, very good. Now crime, can, <laughs> crime. Crime, exactly. Now, can you mention examples of nouns that are countable? Okay, for example, cars. Okay, cars. A bottle. Yeah. Bottles, uh-huh. Books. Books, tables, right? Okay. People. People, people. Okay, and do you remember what the exception is when uh, when you're talking about quantities, something that you can count, but you're supposed to say how much? Uh, money. Money, exactly. Money. money. Can right. you count money? Yes, you can. But you will never finish. So, um, therefore... Uh, when you're asking about quantities about money, you should say how much, not how many. So how much is the right form to, to ask about quantities um, uh, if you're mentioning money? Okay, um, any questions about countables or non-countables? What is the adverb that we use to reduce the amount of countables. Fewer and less. Okay, for, for countables, you say fewer, very good. And for non-countables? Less. 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 less, very good. So you say we need fewer cars and I need less time. So the two options indicate to reduce the amount Fewer is for countables, less is for non-countables. Very good. Any questions or comments about yesterday's topic? No? What was the other topic that we covered? What was the other topic that we discussed? Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes, Clara. Uh, for example, if you stay in a concert uh -huh. and you say many people or much people? Many people because you can count people. 
Okay. When you say there is there, there there are many people right now in the concert in the stadium, uh, in different places. So you say uh, many people. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments, people? No. Teacher, I had a, I had a question. Yes, Edward. Ask uh, my question is about the sentence about the parking. Okay. Why do you why do you use the there is and and you can say parking with add s? No. Okay. Um. That's a good question. And sometimes people get confused with parking in particular. If you're talking about a big space, like if you go to Estadio Cuscatlan and you say, the, uh, uh, there is a big parking. Now, if you count the spaces, then it becomes plural. So you can say the, uh, uh, the building where I live has a big parking. It's non-countable and it's one. Now, if you individualize and you start counting, then it becomes plural. So once again, if you count them one by one, okay, we got 20 parking spaces or we have 20 spaces. Now, if you're talking about the information in general, you say there is parking uh, for the cars. So if it's general, it's singular, you say there is parking. If you start to in, uh, go individual one by one, then it becomes plural. Is that clear? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No, teacher. No? Okay. So um, let's go with the first activity. Let me see. Ha, ha, ha. Doo, 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 pom, pom. I need to see this here. Let me see this. Give me a second. Give me a quick second and I save it. Okay. And then we go here. Give me a second. Plum, plum, and save. Desktop, save. All right, so let's go with the first activity, which is related to what we were doing um, yesterday. Let me see, where is this? It's right here. Share screen right here. Okay, can you see the questions that I'm sharing with you? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's let's um, let's have everybody get involved with this exercise. Some of you may have finished this already. Some of you will see it in the future. So, what is the answer for the first question? Which of the following options is not a non count? Is the number three is parking. Okay, so can you count buses? Yes, you can. Can you count subway lines? Yes, you can. So the answer is parking. Now remember, imagine if the answer were parking spaces, then it will be countable. Okay, question number two. What are some examples of non-count nouns? Water, water, water hair, 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 wood, air. Wood and air. Water, wood, and air. Okay. Can you count computers? 
Yes, you can. Yes. Can you count televisions? Yes, yes. you yes. can. Now, water cannot be counted. Wood cannot be counted. And air cannot be counted either. Now, you can measure, but you cannot count it. Question three, what are some examples of count nouns? Desk. 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 Uh-huh. Book. Camera. 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 Book. 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 Okay. Now, remember, when you say camera, um, letter E is quiet. So, the word camera has only two syllables. So, the answer is desk, camera, and book. Very good. Now, number four, why do the buses cause too much pollution? The number first is the answer. Okay, the buses cause too much pollution because they're old, because they're new, but they're in bad condition, or there are too many buses? One, the, two, or the three. Peers, number one. one. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Number one. Now, now, there is a small possibility that the bus is new and it's in bad condition, but it's not common. But in our reality, in Salvadoran reality, it's because the buses are old. Okay, and number five, why is there too much traffic? Too many number bikes, two. too many cars, or too many pedestrians? So many cars. Two. Okay, very good. Can you remind me what the meaning of pedestrians uh, are is? What is a pedestrian? Peatones. Yes. When you talk about pedestrians, you're talking about people that walk on the streets. People that walk on the streets. Okay, so let's check the answers. We send them. And all your answers are good. Any questions about this exercise? No. No? no. no. Okay, so let's do one more. 2.3, 2.4, and 2.5. Okay, this is uh, also related to what we were doing, uh, practicing yesterday. So, which is correct? There aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough officers in my city. Or there aren't many two, pol two police officers in my city. The number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, let's click on number two. What about number two? There is too much traffic, so the government needs to build more highways, fewer highways, or enough highways? More highways. More highways, more highways. yes. Because here we need to raise uh, and have a bigger number of highways. What about question three, which is correct? There are too much pollution, there is too little pollution, or there is too much pollution in my city? There is too much. There is too much. Number three. Okay, number three, let's click number three. What about number four? I can't sleep at night. There should be? Less noise. Less, Less noise. Can you sleep with noise? No, I can't. No. Okay. Can you sleep with the lights on? No. No? No. No. Okay. Same with me. You know, if when I go to sleep, everything has to be dark and there is not supposed to be any noise. Now, number five, complete the following statement using quantity expression. Too many, fewer, more. Make sure not to use capital letters or periods. The government needs to build... More highways. More highways. More highways. More highways. Okay, so let's type more and let's send it. And your answers were correct. Very good. Any questions about this? 
any questions about this exercise? Yes, no. oh, okay. All right. So let's go to one of this week's new topics. Um, we're talking about indirect questions. We have direct questions and we have indirect questions. Let me give you an example of direct question. What time is it? Where is your brother? Where do you work? Those are examples of direct questions. If I want to say, what time is it? In an indirect question, I would need to include something extra uh, in the question. And I would say, could you tell me what time it is? If I say, where is your brother? That is a direct question. Where is your brother? That's a direct question. How would you transfer that question to indirect? Could you tell me where is your brother? Okay, could you tell me? Now, observation. Um, when you are using verb to be as the main verb, like where is your brother? The main verb is is. So when you're using is in an indirect question, verb to be goes at the end. So do you know where your brother is? Okay. Do you know what time it is? So if I said, where are your, where are your, uh, your cousins? That's a direct question. How would you make that question into uh, indirect? Where are your cousins? That's direct. How will you make that question into indirect? Volunteer? Uh, might be, you know where your cousins are? Very good. Do you know where your cousins are? So once again, verb to be goes at the end. Any questions so far? Questions or comments? No? No, teacher. No. Okay, let me show you. Um, let's see this here. Okay. a second okay and the last one okay so let me show you this share Indirect. Okay, do you guys see the image? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. Okay, so we have indirect questions from WH questions. The ones on the left, the ones that I'm pointing here right now, those are direct questions. Like when you're talking with your friends, uh, with your brothers, your sisters. So you say, where's the bank? Where are the restrooms? Um, now, if you want to make these questions into indirect, you need to include something extra at the beginning. So could you tell me where the bank is? If you notice, verb to be is at the end. Direct question, where are the restrooms? If you're talking to your brother or your sister or one of your friends, if you're talking to someone you don't know, or if maybe it's your supervisor or your boss, you will ask him or her, do you know where the restrooms are? So an indirect question is putting something extra at the beginning of the question, and then it becomes indirect. Look at the second part. How often do the buses leave? You wanna transfer that into indirect? You will say, can you tell me how often the buses leave? What time does the bank open? 
do you know what time the bank opens? When did Fly 566 arrive? Do you know when Fly 566 arrived? So um, as you can see, the questions on the left are exactly the same questions on the right, but the questions on the right are more polite. They're more um, professional, we can say. And we use them to sound more, more polite when okay. you're talking with a person that maybe you don't know. Okay, um, any questions so far about this topic here? Let me take a picture of this so I can send it to you. 8 to 9 p.m. Okay, it's right there. So if I ask you, where is your sister? How will you change that information to indirect? Where is your sister? Volunteer. Could you tell me where your sister is? Very good. Where is Mexicanos? How will you say that into in an indirect question? Could you tell me where Me Mexicanos is? Very good. Now, where are my books? Where are do my books? Uh -huh. Do you know where are my books? Okay, do you know where my books are? Remember that uh, verb to be goes at the end when you're making indirect questions. Oh, okay. Yes, so keep that in mind. All right, so um, you can copy this screen on your computer or your cell phone. I already sent it to the, to the WhatsApp chat. And right now, I will show you some... Um, right here. Can you see the questions? Yes. Can you read the first one? What's her name? What's her name? That is direct question. Like uh, your sister comes with a friend and maybe you like this person and said, what's her name? But let's say you have a new person in the, in the office and you need to know what her name is. So you ask your supervisor, tell me, how will you make that question into indirect? What her name is. Good, please tell me what her name is. Tell me what her name is. Very good. What would be the second answer? Where's the cinema? Volunteer? Please tell me Please tell where me. the cinema is. Good. Where the cinema cinema is. Okay, so you guys will do the rest. I will assign you to work in pairs. Let me see this here. Um, I guess I will make seven pairs. And here we go.
such R is possible? No, it's a mistake because for me, the answer for the number five is just must tell me where your colleagues are for me, but I don't know. That, that is the correct answer. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yes. Okay, the number, the next one say, what will you, you do tomorrow? And what will you do now? What you will do tomorrow? Okay, what is the complete uh, answer? What will you do tomorrow? It, it's very difficult. <laughs> okay, yeah, try. Like to, <laughs> what will you do tomorrow? I okay. like to know what you do. No, it's not that. No. What you do tomorrow? What you what will, will do tomorrow? What will you do? Tomorrow? No, what you will do. You will do. Yes. You will do. You will do, exactly. Okay. You will do. And the other, how much is it? Uh, teacher. Yes. I know understand the what will you do tomorrow? Right. What will you do tomorrow? So you're supposed to say, I would like to know what you will do tomorrow. I would like to what know what you will do. What you will do tomorrow. That is correct. Mm. And the other is, is similar. Uh, what, what do you have for the what other you... one? What do you know about Tom? He wants, he wants to, know, to know what what uh, do we know about Tom too? Okay, so he wants to know what you know about Tom. Because when you're when you start the sentence, say he wants to know. There automatically they're asking you a question. So he mm. wants to know what oh. you know about Tom. So you don't need to include the auxiliary do again because yeah. it's already a question. Um, yeah. Uh, it's the same, the, the okay. other one, the will, because I'll okay. is the contraction of, of will. I okay. will. Yeah, so what you will do. Mm. So you, you don't have to make double question because the beginning of the part is already telling you that they need information about a certain topic. Okay. And that's how you do it. Okay. All right. Uh, when, I don't remember when, but where in, in the college? Okay. Uh, in, in on the guys. Uh, what's the subject? Huh? What's the subject? Yes. For you? What are you mm. studying or what were you studying? What career? Yeah. What career were you studying? I study tourism. Tourism. Ah, okay. Yes. I studied uh, accounting and finance. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you like that? Uh, so, so. <laughs> I'm not so, really fun, but you like numbers. Uh, a little. <laughs> yeah, if you study accounting, it's because you like numbers. Yeah, a little, but sometimes uh, difficult. Okay. <laughs> and you're in Metapang right now. Yeah. Okay. Don't you remember? But don't you remember my like? Right, teacher. What is it? Don't you remember me? From where? From Indigo. From Indigo? 
Yeah. Can, can you show me your face? <laughs> the, give me a second. I have to turn on my camera. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, of course I remember you. Oh, how are you? Really good. Okay. <laughs> when, 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 when did you move to Metapan? About two months. Two months ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know, like <laughs> I, I clearly remember faces, but I don't remember uh -huh. names that well. Uh, oh, okay. that, that's it's good to have you here. <laughs> was well, a really surprise for me when I realized that you would be my teacher. Yeah, but I I taught you before because you were taking classes too at Indigo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <I was> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's good to have you here too. Yeah, it's really good to see you again. <laughs> okay, good. I'll send you a text message to your number. Okay. All right. Let me check on the other ones. Okay. All right. ¿Y lo, lo va escribiendo usted o no? No. <laughs> Cuando nos pregunta, no me olvida. Bueno, hay que. Ajá. What are you practicing English? <laughs> Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> yes, ask me. We have we have a problem in the number. Let me let me let me see. In how oh, oh. Center how much no, in the next how much does it cost the answer can you tell me how much does it cost it or not no uh, your your question is perfect except that you are including does again now when you start with the question say can you tell me that automatically mm -hmm. makes it a question, so you don't need to include the auxiliary again. So the question is, can you tell me how much it costs? Mm -hmm. Can you how tell much? me how much it costs? It costs. So you don't need to include does again or do, because you already have, oh. can you tell me? So when you start a, a, a statement with, can you tell me? It's automatically a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so and in the another age let me let me see oh, yeah, yeah. what do you do now what do you know about tom okay maybe he wants to know he wants to know what do you know about company no uh you you should say he wants to know what you know about Tom. So once again, you eliminate do because when you say he wants to know, it's automatically a question. So you don't need to include auxiliary again. So he wants to know what you know about Tom. Um, and and I, I, will, I will give you all the answers uh, when we're back in the main session again. So, but just keep something in mind. The auxiliary you are using in the direct question disappears when you're making indirect. Okay. So, so keep that in mind. So you, you, don't, you don't repeat, you don't make a double question uh, unnecessarily. Okay, teacher. Okay, and, and, I'll, and I'll explain that again when we get back to the main session. Don't worry. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello teacher. Okay. I have many doubts. Okay, ask me, Claudia. For example, when say in the number six, maybe or five, what will you do tomorrow? Uh huh. We talk about um, maybe I like to know what we'll do tomorrow what i don't know okay what let, let, let me let, let, let me explain your answer okay. is good you just need to change the position of two words the answer is 
I'd like to know what you will do tomorrow. You when you start, do. when you start the statement with "I'd like to know," that's automatically a question, so you don't need to include the auxiliary again. So I like to know what you will do tomorrow. What you will do tomorrow. Exactly. So you don't need to include auxiliary do again because when you say I like to know, that is automatically a question. Okay. Any In any uh-huh. What do you know about Tom? He wants to know. What you know about Tom? Uh -huh. What? What? What you know about Tom? He wants to know what, what you, know you know about Tom. Exactly. And the the auxiliary to disappears. Repeat it. Repeat the number six. Yeah, he wants to know what. You know oh. about Tom. I want Tom. He oh. wants to know okay. what you know about Tom. Okay. Right. He wants to know. Teacher, and, and when we say, when, when we have to omit, omit the auxiliary. Yes. Now. How no? Okay. If it's very simple. The examples that you have in negritas in bold letter, those are direct questions. When you're making okay. direct questions, obviously yeah. you use auxiliaries. But when you transfer those direct questions to indirect, auxiliary disappears because you start with something that automatically tells you that you're making a question like, tell me, I want to know, you must tell me, uh, can you tell me? So when you start your statements with those uh, expressions, you know that it's automatically a question. So the auxiliary you use in the direct question disappears, it's not needed. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, how much is it? Uh -huh. uh, how much it? How much it is? Remember that if, if you include it verb is. to be in the question, ah, verb to be goes at the end. Ah. Yep. Ah, okay. and, and, and placing verb to be at the end of the question, that's where many people usually have problems. They forget that verb to be needs to be at the end. And, and, and I'm going to explain this again okay. with the whole group because I will give you okay. um, all the answers so everybody's on the same page. Got it? Okay. All right, so let me check on the last pair. Okay, thank you. All right, good. Como que si fuera una misma persona. Hello. Who's the same person? Uh, the, the, the final exercise, teacher. Okay, let's check the when, final exercise. Uh -huh. When will you come back? Okay. And uh, we have, uh, we was thinking that that gonna be. Um, I must know when when will you come back? Okay, I must know when you will come back. So your answer oh. is good, but you need to change the position of two words. Because okay. if you say, I must know, when you say, I must know, it's because there is a question coming. So the complement of the indirect question, um, the, the auxiliary disappears. So I must know when you will come back. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So I will explain this again to the to the whole group. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we have another. Yes. Ask um, me. Okay. And the number uh, nine. And the number nine. Okay. Uh, how how much? 
how much does it cost? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, and we think we think they're gonna be. Can you tell me much does is it? No. Is? Um, the answer would be: Can you tell me how much it costs? Cost is at the end with an S. Can you tell me how much it cost? So auxiliary does disappears. Ah, uh, okay. It's the yes. same with uh, yeah, like so, like like number ten. Exactly. So uh, okay. the exercise that that you guys are doing right now, you're transferring uh, direct questions to indirect. Now, when you're doing that exercise and you're using indirect questions, uh, the auxiliary disappears all the time, all the time. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice exercise. All right. And, yep. and, the, and the number eight is okay. going to be the same. How much is it? Uh -huh. And we answer, we answer, I don't know how much is. It is. It is. It is. Yes. I don't know how uh, much it is. Because remember, the rule says that when, uh, when you have verb to be, Verb to be goes at the end, so it's mandatory that you put it at the end. Okay. Okay. Yep. So let's go back to the main session so everybody is on the same page. So we do it all together. Okay. All right. Thanks. Sure. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's do all it all right. together. Now remember, when you go to a job interview or you're speaking with a person you don't know that well and you want to make questions, um, this is perfect for those situations. When you go to a job interview, when you don't know the person that well. So um, I want to make sure that everybody's on the same page here. Let's do number three. Where are my documents? I want to know where uh -huh. where my documents my are. Documents are. Okay, where my documents are. Good, very good. What about the next one? Where are your colleagues? Where? Uh huh. You your must your colleagues are. are. Uh huh. Your colleagues are. Mm. Very are. good. What will you do tomorrow? What do you do tomorrow, Will? Okay. What okay, you here's do the here, Will tomorrow. Okay, listen to this. The exercises that you're doing right now, uh, the original question is direct. When you make a direct question, it is necessary, grammatically speaking, that you include auxiliary in the question, right? Now, when you're transferring direct questions to indirect, the auxiliary you're using disappears, usually disappears. So I would like to know what you will do tomorrow. So you what? switch the position. You do. Will do. I would like to know what you will do tomorrow. What you will do tomorrow. Uh, the second part has to be a statement. It cannot be a, a, the question form. So um, when, you're, when you're going from direct to indirect, you need to change the position of some words. What do you know about Tom? He wants to know about Tom. He wants to know. Volunteer. He wants to know. What do you know about Tom? Okay, what you know about Tom? <laughs> he wants to know what you know about Tom. So as you can see, 
with the original direct question, you're using auxiliary do. But when you're making it and you transfer it to um, indirect, the auxiliary disappears. So he wants to know what you know about Tom. Let's do the next one. How much is it? I don't know. How much it is. Good. I don't know how much it is. I don't know how much it is. What about the, the next one? How much does it cost? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Me much does it. How much it costs? Once again, remember uh, the auxiliary that you use in the direct question disappears. Okay, um, are the exercises clear? L yes. Look at look at the following one. When will you come back? I must know when you will come back. Good, when you will come back. Now remember, in this case, the question is in future. So you need an auxiliary to indicate that you're talking about future time, so will, stays there and the last one says what are you going to do this afternoon she wants to know what you going to do uh huh what yes she wants to know what you are going to this afternoon going to do this afternoon now, remember something, do has different functions. It can be an auxiliary to ask the question, but it can also be an irregular verb. So in this case, do is an irregular yes. verb, so it doesn't disappear. Okay. okay. So let's check the answers. It's 90. Some of your answers are incorrect. Which one do you think is, is not good? I don't know if it's correct. Uh, you put the cost with a with s at the end. Ah, uh, let me see. Can you tell me how much it costs? Um, not exactly. She wants to know what you're going to do this. Oh, I think I know what it is. You repeat this afternoon. Yeah, I, I, I wrote this afternoon, right. So let me let me fix this here. Yeah, an afternoon was what you are going to do. Going to do this afternoon. Yeah. 99. <laughs> what you're going to do this afternoon when you will come back it must be a punctuation thing okay but that's the idea uh, are there any questions or comments about this when you're new in an in a class when you're new in an office and you need to ask questions and maybe you don't feel too comfortable asking the questions this is an option that you have, so you sound very polite. Any questions or comments? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. No. So we still have 10 minutes. We're going to change topic. The last topic is only about speaking. Uh, what is your opinion about junk food? It's very delicious. Not healthy, not healthy but delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's not healthy, yeah. but very delicious. Exactly. I what like Subway. <laughs> Subway. Okay. <laughs> I love pizza. But pizza is very bad for the flour, you know, like carbohydrates yeah. and all that. But, uh, okay. 
So, um, but the problem is pizza had a lot of grease. Yeah, that one too. Not only the flour, but the but the grease, the fat. Yep. Yeah. So, double okay. negative. Does anybody prefer hamburgers as uh, your favorite junk food? Yeah, me, teacher. <laughs> okay, hamburgers from where? I recommend the hamburgers from Mike Burgers oh, in, they're Santa, really good. in Santa Tecla, in Merliot. In Merliot, yeah, they're very good. Really, yeah, really good. The best, the best of this country. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Okay, so the topic you guys will discuss now is um, it's about junk food. So let me see where this is. It's right here. Do you see the questions? No. Yeah. The same question. In the screen? Yes. Uh, it says students A's questions. No. No, not yet. No. Okay. So let me let me take a picture of it first. So I send it to uh, your teacher. Yep. Uh, I have a question. Um, yes, sir. We we have uh, we we can access uh, to this page in internet. Sure, sure. Um, is is a free page? Or? Yeah, it, it's a free page. the The name of the page it's ESL discussions, and you will find um, in alphabetical order. You will find a lot of topics that are really great for you to practice your speaking with uh, with someone else yeah uh, will <laughs> will be good <laughs> yeah I, I will send you the name to the um to the whatsapp chat so whenever you want to practice with someone else you go ahead and do it thank you all Please. right <laughs> all right here we go so uh okay. let's see Someone's having dinner. Okay. Sign to five. And I buy about three times in these two months. Oh, uh, now yes. I see the answers. Now oh, the, the question. Did you yes. send it to us? Yes, in WhatsApp group. Okay. The first one. What springs to mind when you hear the term junk food? Well, uh, junk food is for a uh, rapid meal or faster meal, fast food? Mm -hmm. That brings to my mind the fast food. Yep. And how often do you eat junk food? Uh, we can answer one question. Uh, yeah, you can, you can take turns. Yeah, oh, sure. Porque el último mensaje a las 7.18 lo tengo. Which one are you discussing? Teacher, we have a problem because my classmate don't have a, a picture in your cell phone. Uh, uh, David, can you hear me? Uh, the picture no, no aparece en WhatsApp. Uh, it's it's right there. Uh, do you have my telephone number? Is six zero? No. Uh, okay, hold on. Now, do you have my telephone number? That. Teacher, teacher, I yes. have a question. Yes, ask I, me. I, I'm sorry. But sure. I 
does include about the US plane. Yep. The auxiliar, the auxiliar, the auxiliar okay. and do. Okay, uh, uh, do, in the, do and does, they have double function. If you're talking about the simple present tense, do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Italian? Do you have children? Do you have a car? You're making a question. But um, you can also use it as an irregular verb. So I said, uh, Edward, what do you do on Saturdays? Oh, on Saturdays, I do different things. When you say, I do different things, in that case, it's an irregular verb. But you can also use it to make questions. And that's what I meant when I explained that, uh, um, that particular part. So it can be used to make questions in the simple present, but it can also be used as an irregular verb. So which means hacer. Is it okay. clear, Edward? Yes, yes, yes. Um, for example, in the number five, uh -huh. what will you do tomorrow? Okay. In this case, uh, do is a verb. Right. And it's an so, irregular verb. Okay. It, it's not an auxiliary. Six, uh huh. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. I understand. What do you do? What do you know about Tom? Exactly. And you can eliminate do. Exactly, oh, okay. exactly, yes. Good. <laughs> okay, the five. Mm -hmm. The five question. Why is the junk food so delicious? Oh my God, <laughs> why is it so delicious? I, I don't know, they got a chemical that makes us all... Um, um... In Santa Ana, maybe... It's a play when by, but in Metapan, yeah, I don't know. No, here in Metapan, no. Yeah. No, only in Santa Ana, they sell in Sushito, in um, Super Selecto, in Super Selecto Santa Ana. Really? It has a, it has a little place that, that there are a chef that he makes a, a sushi. Different kind of sushi. Oh. And, it, and it's not so expensive. The cost is, you pay $5 for, for. You can take for a review. Yes. But I, but I prefer Burger King, always. Burger King is your favorite? Yes. Yeah. It's better <laughs> than McDonald's and Wendy's. Uh, I like McDonald's. McDonald's really? is good. Yeah. <laughs> we prefer Burger King. Yeah, but you know, Burger King is, is really good too. But, mm -hmm. you know, I have a, a good appetite. And if I want to be really satisfied, I need to buy myself a combo that is $8. You know, and $8 <laughs> for a lunch, that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. So, okay, let's go back to the main session. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions about today? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Any questions or comments about today before you guys are dismissed? Mm. Okay, no. I'll, I'll take your silence as a no. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for your time. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Have a good night. Okay, have a good night. Good night, everybody. Thank Bye, you. good night. Everybody. See you Bye. later. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Same to you. Thank you.